What's up, Pedal? What's up, Pedal Ones? What's up, Pedal Ones? Afro Joe the Wookiee, Tennessee TA is like always. And uh, I know I'm a little bit late on this one uh, about the whole Bill Cosby going, being conv being convicted, about to been arrested and almost um, facing up to 10 years in prison. And I've sat here for the longest and trying to tell people, do never believe what the media tells you. You got to read between the lines of what they say. I said, because the truth, they're never going to tell the truth. I said, when you sit there and say this, when they sit there and say certain things on TV, everybody wants to believe. Now, I sat there for the longest trying to tell people, don't believe it, don't believe it, because you never know if it's the truth or not, or <clears throat> or uh, anything, because they're never going to tell the truth. And I've sat there and I talked about how some like this famous photo right here, Janice Dickinson walked around with these two pictures saying Bill Cosby raped me and to find out right before Bill Cosby got arrested that Bill Cosby was suing Janice Dickinson, Janet Dickerson and Beverly Johnson for false accusation and still they got to go on national TV and tell and say that they've been raped and yet la 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 and it's sad that that this has happened. There is it is pretty much something else that the like everything that's happened in this country, kids getting killed by police officers and all this and that. And only people can think about is Bill Cosby raped these women, so it's sad to see that people only care about Bill Cosby being a, pet, a rapist. So a kid just got killed yesterday, and y'all has this thing about Bill Cosby being a rapist. And if y'all paid attention close enough about what these women said, about how they would slip the drug, and then later on they waited to say, oh yeah, it was a Spanish fly. One of the girls, one of his accusers, one of his accusers, I thought it was funny because one of his accusers found out that she lied. And I thought it was funny as hell. And I thought it was funny. This girl walked around saying that she was raped by Bill Cosby. The girl ended up on the Dr. Phil show. <laughs> and I thought it was funny that this woman set up here trying to say she was raped by Bill Cosby. And everybody knows this girl and it's still and it's still funny to me that this girl sat up here and trying to tell the world that she was raped by Bill Cosby at Playboy and then turn around and go on the Dr. Phil show and say the same damn thing say the same damn thing on the Dr. Phil show but to find out she got caught in a lie. And this is the woman. Her name is Chloe Going. She appeared on the Dr. Phil show telling everybody she was raped by Bill Cosby. To find out. To find out. He was not even at the Playboy Mansion. She wasn't either. He was across country. It's funny that she lied on this man. And he was across country. You're telling me. No, no, no. no, no for real. This girl sat there. Jumped on the bandwagon. And said Bill Cosby raped me. But to find out Bill Cosby was in another state, cross country. She wasn't even at the Playboy Mansion at the time 
when she said this happened. So she lied. Bill Cosby was going to sue Janet Dickerson and Beverly Johnson for lying. Now there's a picture I saw on Facebook and I thought it was the best picture I, I this ever been put up. I thought it was the greatest. I thought it was spot fucking on. I thought it told the truth. And here's the picture. The picture says Stephen Collins admits to molesting a child from from the age of 10 to 13 but denies being a child molester TV show still in syndication as of October 15 October 2015 Bill Cosby accused of sexual misconduct by 55 women since 1979 the Cosby show has been banned from syndication I'm sitting there like I'm like no 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 for real like how can this mean like this this proves so much truthfulness right there truthfulness Stephen Collins admits to molesting kids and he still gets love still gets to sit up on TV still gets to be in movies this man Stephen Collins actually acted in a movie with Richard Pryor called Brewster Millions he was the father on 7th Heaven and he missed the Raping a child from ages 10 to 13. But but he doesn't call himself a pedophile. But his show is still on air. He's still getting movie deals. He's still getting the hookup. He's still getting all this love. How come a man that admits to having sex with your children still gets love? But a man that's been accused of raping 20, 55 women gets all this hatred. It's all about that skin tone. Like Paul Moody, it's the complexion for your complexion. It's, it's like you said, comple, complexion of your protection. So Stephen Collins is his complexion for his protection, because he's a white man and he can rape as many kids as he wants and still get a movie deal. Bill Cosby can be accused of raping kids and catch hell. See how that is. Even black folks sit up there and think he's guilty. Black folks will sit up there and look at Bill Cosby as a guilty man knowing that that's how the world works if you're black you're going to be found guilty doesn't matter if you're innocent anyway every time an, uh, every time an innocent man gets gets accused of something what happens oh he's guilty he's guilty he's guilty did did people forget Did the people forget about five five minorities five minorities being accused of right Five men been accused of rape. And y'all can sit up there and still look at black people's guilty. These five men right here that you see was accused of rape, raping a woman in Central Park. They spent 18 years in a penitentiary. 18 years. Till they find out these five men was actually innocent of the crime. And y'all sit up there. Y'all can sit up there and say, oh, all damn day. And y'all forget that happened. And I'm going to show you a video about. Bill Cosby attorney, 10 like T.I.S. Here we go. The actual stories, the actual allegations, what that itself of? is a falsity. There have been some that have accused of sexual assault, meaning sexual penetration or rape. Right. There have been some that accused him of grabbing their wrist. 
st strong or improperly. There have been some that have said, I was at a party and he bumped up against me, up against my breast improperly in 1976. There have been some that said, I was at a party and I think he put something in my drink and I either got away or I did. How many, how many, how many have accused him of putting something in their drink or sexual assault of the 35? Uh, well, that's, <laughs> I think that they would all consider that to be a form of sexual assault. Well, I'm not saying. trying to mince words. If you're, that, because, that's if you're because grabbing my... some, but that's not rape. So, so when people say 35 people let's have. Let's take rape off the have, table for a moment. All 35, I just want to be clear for our audience, all 35 have accused him of sexual assault. No, because, how, how many because have? some have said that it wasn't even, even sexual. I can't even keep track of what the actual numbers let's are because half. you go through let's, 50. Let's, let's say it's half, just for argument's sake. Let's say it's half. I believe the number is closer to the mid twenties, but let, let's say it's half. Let's just split the difference, right? Forty women come forward, twenty say he did it. Mm -hmm. Why, given the fact that less than, according to the FBI statistics, fewer than or less than two percent of, of rape victims uh, offer false claims, mm -hmm. and also given the fact that a, a, a relatively small fraction of actual rape victims come forward. Mm -hmm. The odds, statistically, of, of all these women lying are relatively low. Some would argue infinitesimal. I really love that you brought up that statistic and you brought up the study because the variables that you would need in order for that study to apply to this case would be that you'd have to factor in a very wealthy person who's alleged as the perpetrator of the crime and you would have to factor in things like prior relationship and those are not a part of any of the current studies. You have to start asking things like how many people of influence and means have been the victims of extortion attempts? How many women and men have been willing to offer up their bodies on a casting couch, have been willing to exchange sex for favors, have had remorse after doing so, and then accused someone who they believed they could get monetary gain out of and offer to sell a story. All you have to do is open up the rag magazines. You can go to any grocery store and see that the numbers when you factor in the person who's the target change and I'm not and I'm digging of course as an attorney and I'm not seeing that variable included because it's sort of obvious to me if you look at the well, stories we've had over the past 20 years yeah. that many people are willing to say many things in order to get yeah, but, but money. But of all the people in Hollywood, of all the people who have millions and even billions of dollars, this doesn't happen to them. What is it about Bill Cosby that would have this number of women come forward? Hasn't happened to any, I mean, we haven't seen these, these other, even Mike Tyson, you know, we didn't see 46. So somebody that it happened to. No, but we right. didn't see 40, 40 people come through or 35 people come through. The, the consistency of the story combined with the volume, combined with all these other factors makes Bill Cosby's situation even unusual for people of his sort, does I it not? I think you should probably look at the source, you know, and that's what I say. I say to people who are journalists or people who are transmitting the news and are actually interviewing people who are um, bringing accusations that there are questions that should be asked. You should be asking, did you come forward on your own or did someone seek you out? Did you come from a list? Were there plaintiff's attorneys who were out looking for anyone who had any involvement with Bill Cosby in the point. past? I spoke to three were of them. There? I spoke to three of them. Uh, the th two of the three that I spoke to came forward on their own. They weren't asked to. Uh, one of the three wasn't even considering civil action. Two of the three didn't begin looking for civil action. Uh, and they said that they were afraid to come forward. They said they were afraid because of Bill Cosby's power, because of Bill Cosby's influence. Uh, because of the fear that they would be uh, castigated in the media. And it's only now that there is a sort of critical mass of people that they felt safe coming Right, forward. strength in numbers. Yeah. And I said, I was on News One, I guess it was day before yesterday, and one of the things that I said is that we have to remember in terms of the allegations that were, that would have been coming forward in the late 60s and the early 70s, that Bill Cosby was still then, as he is now, a black man in America. And I find it incredible to believe that none of the majority white females who are saying that something was done to them that was inappropriate by an African-American male in the late 60s and 70s, that none of them would, been, would have been believed.
because if we look back on our own history and see what was happening in those times, nothing could be further from the truth. As a matter of fact, he would have been target number one in those days, and I'd argue in these days. He would have been target number one then and is now. So it's hard for me personally, not speaking on behalf of Mr. Cosby, but speaking as someone who is a student of history, yeah. to think that one, two, 10, 20, however many women had allegations had accusations that they wouldn't have been heard or listened to and that when they went to a friend or when they went to a confidant or when they went to a police department that they wouldn't have been taken seriously enough in those days for it to at least have been investigated. I'm not saying whether that's true or not. I'm saying that based on what I know of our country and our country's history and when we look back on the kinds of things that were being done then to African American so males that that's hard to believe. So if Bill Cosby had done it, basically you're saying if Bill Cosby had raped these white women, white women would have had been fully empowered to put him in jail. I'm not talking about whether white women would have been empowered or not. I'm not doing the if was a fifth thing. What I am saying well, is that... Well, you did. You're saying if <laughs> no, Bill Cosby... what if I'm saying is that... I find it incredulous that no one would have believed them enough to at least check into the stories. But, but you know, most m most rape victims don't come forward, whether it's in intimate, particularly when they know the person. Mo I mean, you, you do concede that point, that most people, particularly when, when it's intimate partner sexual assault, uh, as opposed to some guy in a ski mask in an alley, um, most of them don't come forward. Most of them don't talk to law enforcement. You can you, you can see that as a fact. Right? That those are the numbers. Yes. It, so so then yes. it would be entirely consistent with the numbers that people would not do that with Bill Cosby, right? No, I don't think so because what like I said, the numbers when you look at them don't include any variables whatsoever. But my point, sitting back from it as the attorney, is this: Why is it in 2015 when What's being brought forward is outside of the bounds and the confines of the law that what is appropriate conversation, what suits our appetite, what drives our media is to do with this story in the public what cannot be done in the court of law. Why, why don't we follow the dictates of our justice system? Now, this is his attorney saying all this. She kind of, I saw the video, and she kind of saying a man doesn't have a chance, especially a black man doesn't have a chance in the courtroom to defend himself because they'll take the woman's word over his because a woman can has more power to say anything than a man does. And this is coming from a woman. If a woman is sitting up there defending a man being accused of rape, then that telling that's telling you something right there that a woman can this woman this this woman can sit there and say I don't believe these women I think they're lying and I think they're full of shit and I'm finished and that's from the Huffington Post and I'm finished show you another video with uh, Eddie Griffin from Flat TV I'm giving them credit too and here we go I'm finna play it for you and I want to know show y'all what's going on about this because I still think it's innocent. You talked about uh, Bill Cosby when you were doing Meteor Man. Uh -huh. Did you have a relationship with, with Bill after that? Bill, uh, you know, Dr. Cosby, I'm gonna call him by his real moniker. Dr. Cosby is a class act. When I was first starting on the Marvin Natty show, he called me over to the set of his show. And he said, yes, I hear you had cancer also. I said, yes, July 15th. He said, I want you to sit down and study. It's obviously you're great, we all know it. But you got to learn the business, Eddie. Right? So I would go there literally for a week and study. And at the end of every rehearsal, he says, what did you notice? I said, I noticed you would take the script, put it up on his feet, and then bring it to life, but add in your flavor. You didn't go just by the script. You knew the map. But you got there your own way, because once you get it on your feet and you actually interplaying with the other actor, mm -hmm. other shit's gonna come out. Yeah. Right? The small little nuances that you can't write a certain look, you know what I mean? 
a hand gesture, shit like that, right? So I'm watching that. And he was smoking study, uh, his little stogie nigga, and laugh out to us. Yeah, it's just smart, it's smart. I like that. You know, we need more with brains. Right? So, uh, which helped me, you know, transition from just stand up where I can say whatever the fuck I want to say. And then they had this little nigga off the streets, you know, a hundred plus thousand dollars a fucking week, and then put constraints on the motherfucker. I felt like I was handcuffed every motherfucking week on that show. It was a living hell for me. So, uh, but you know, uh, uh, Dr. Cosby helped me out with that shit. What do you think, you know, your take on what happened with Bill Cosby with the allegations and everything else like that? Look, first off, you have to remember uh, this was in the 70s, right? I'm old enough to remember the 70s. The 70s is a different time, right? 70s motherfuckers all had coke spoons around their fucking necklace. Mm. You go to the damn disco, nigga, the line is laid out on the table. Toot, toot, right? Yeah. When you, you want to level out after a hit of cocaine, you get a quaalude, right? Yeah. So did he rape these bitches? All of them said the same thing. We went to the room. Why would you go to the room of a known married man? Right. Number one. Me, me, they're they're down to fuck anyways. Why would you go to a room, a hotel room, of a known married man? And he incorporates this whole marriage thing in his comedy routines. And it's not a secret that he's married. You understand? Okay. So they they're down to fuck. Then they go back thirty years later and say he raped me. Thirty years. I don't understand that. I mean, that's like a motherfucker robbing me, and then I wait thirty years to call the police. I got robbed thirty years ago in nineteen eighty-four. Right, because if you notice, there, there was no. And it's him. <laughs> <laughs> because it, it's past the statute of limitations, so there's no, there's no criminal charge. There is a systematic effort to destroy every black male entertainment entertainer's image. They want us all to have an actress by name. Kobe raped a white woman in Colorado. Dr. Cosby raped 37 bitches and still counting. Nobody leaves this business clean. Michael Jackson, fuck little white children. Michael Jordan? Michael Jordan gambled. Mm, right, and then his dad got killed. And you he, understand? They try to tie that You're not going to die clean. I mean, everything that Bill Cosby has built up the, the decades of work that, that he stood behind. The man has, you know, single-handedly, you know, sent a bunch of brothers and sisters to college. Yeah. You know, even if he didn't pay for it himself, he gave them the idea that it's possible, right? The motherfucker was so generous with his money, he bought colleges colleges. I, I know, you understand? I, I know that I, I've seen some interviews. And then some pussy is supposed to tear that down. Like, I, I, I've seen some interviews with... Let's talk about this little motherfucking white boy who's a known motherfucking pedophile, the director, that escaped overseas. What's oh, that motherfucker's name? Uh, Roman Polanski? Yeah, I don't see them fucking with that motherfucker. Well, I mean, he's... Oh, he's back at work. Yeah, he's back at work. He's like in Sweden or something like that. Yeah, yeah, he had to flee the country. I mean, I, you understand I, I, me? He got to flee the country. Right. Michael Jackson might have wanted to flee the country. Yeah. He didn't get to flee. There's a difference. Well, Michael Jackson was also. Now you see what I'm saying? Even Eddie Griffin said something about it. Thirty years they waited. A pedophile gets to. It, it, it's just like the bitch I show you. Stephen Collins. I missed the raping. A, a, a child from 10 to 13 and he gets to do whatever the hell he wants Bill Cosby has been accused of rape and he still gets hell and there's three videos this guy posted up on Facebook I'm actually put it down in the description I'll put the we have the his attorney Eddie Griffin down in the description videos down in the description box and plus the video about the three 
the three videos about the guys breaking down the stories of each woman lying about it I want to know what you think about this tell me what you think down in the comment section follow me on twitter follow me on tumblr subscribe to my channel CeeLo Jr. 2 CeeLo Jr. 3 and tell me what you think don't be a don't be a Sith or be a Jedi if you ain't down with the Wookiee you're digging the Wookiee peace love and not for grease